Welcome to a journey through the lens of the 1961 classic, King of Kings. As we delve into this cinematic masterpiece, one might ponder, can you recall a personal story where this movie left an indelible mark on your life? Or perhaps, is there a specific scene or moment within King of Kings that continues to resonate with you? Before we explore these questions, let's set the stage with some captivating insights about the film. Directed by Nicholas Ray, King of Kings presents a compelling portrayal of the life of Jesus Christ, navigating through pivotal moments from his birth to crucifixion. The film strikes a balance between historical narrative and spiritual reflection, offering audiences a window into an era of profound significance. Now, back to the questions that bring a personal touch to our exploration. What cherished memory or enduring impact has King of Kings had on your life? Whether it's a scene that stirred your emotions or a reflection that lingered long after the credits rolled, we would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Let's celebrate the power of cinema and the unique ways it connects with each of us. Share your experiences and insights and let the conversation unfold. Jeffrey Hunter, portraying Jesus in the 1961 movie King of Kings, faced criticism for not wearing contact lenses to match his bright blue eyes with the character's supposed ethnicity. Despite receiving makeup for the role, this choice sparked debate about historical accuracy. Notably, Hunter's dialogue coach during post-dubbing was Agnes Moorhead. It's interesting to note that actors heard Hatfield, Frank Thring, and Grard Titchy, who appeared in El Cid, another epic film of the same year, also played roles in King of Kings. This connection adds an intriguing layer to the historical epic genre of the early 60 seconds. These behind-the-scenes details provide a glimpse into the complexities of creating a film that explores such a significant historical and religious figure showcasing the challenges faced by the cast and crew. James Mason, a seasoned actor of his time, declined the role of Pontius Pilate in the 1961 movie King of Kings. Interestingly, he later took on the part of Joseph of Arimathea in the 1977 TV miniseries Jesus of Nazareth. This decision by Mason added a unique twist to the casting dynamics of biblical roles during that era. While Mason's portrayal of Pontius Pilate did not materialize in King of Kings, his later involvement in a different production exploring the same historical narrative showcases the fluidity of casting choices in the world of cinema. The 1961 movie King of Kings, a monumental epic exploring the life of Jesus, holds a fascinating behind-the-scenes detail. Director John Farrow, a devoted convert to Roman Catholicism and a papal knight, initially envisioned the film as a deeply personal project named The Sword and the Cross. His ambitious plan involved using only the words of the Bible for dialogue, creating a script deemed impossible to film. Producer Samuel Bronston decided to move forward without Farrow, leading to a significant shift in the project's direction. Farrow never directed another film. This origin story sheds light on the film's journey from a visionary concept to its eventual realization. It also highlights the challenges faced in adapting such a profound subject matter for the screen. The departure of Pharaoh, who held a unique perspective as both director and devout Catholic, undoubtedly left its mark on the cinematic portrayal of Jesus in King of Kings. The intricate web of decisions, from script conception to casting, provides a glimpse into the complexities of bringing this historical and religious narrative to life on the big screen. Joining the ranks of biblical epics of the early 60 seconds, King of Kings not only sought historical accuracy in its portrayal but also grappled with the artistic and logistical hurdles inherent in such a monumental undertaking. This insider perspective sets the stage for understanding the dynamics that shaped the film and the choices made by those involved. As we delve into the world of King of Kings, we find a tapestry woven with passion, challenges, and the relentless pursuit of capturing the essence of a pivotal figure in history. In a lesser-known detail about the 1961 movie King of Kings, Jeffrey Hunter, who portrayed Jesus, underwent a meticulous transformation for the crucifixion scene. Beyond the widely discussed shaving of his chest hair, Hunter also had his underarms shaved. What has evaded attention for over five decades is the use of a false putty nose worn by Hunter throughout the film, particularly noticeable in close-ups during the crucifixion scenes. This intricate detail adds a layer of commitment and nuance to Hunter's portrayal, underscoring the lengths taken to capture the authenticity of the pivotal crucifixion moment. 
While the film faithfully adheres to Luke's account in depicting Satan tempting Jesus in the desert three times, it distinguishes itself from other adaptations by its exclusive reliance on Luke's narrative rather than Matthew's. This subtle but significant choice highlights the filmmaker's commitment to scriptural accuracy, offering a unique perspective on a pivotal moment in the narrative of humanity's Redeemer. In an interesting linguistic note, Orson Welles, a prominent figure in the film, insisted on pronouncing the word apostles with a hard T. This idiosyncrasy, though seemingly minor, reflects the meticulous attention to detail in the production, showcasing the dedication of the cast and crew to an authentic portrayal. These lesser-known details about the film King of Kings unveil the depth of commitment and precision invested in bringing the story of Jesus to the screen. From the physical transformations of the actors to the careful selection of biblical sources, every aspect of the film reflects a nuanced approach to storytelling. It's these subtleties that contribute to the rich tapestry of the movie, making it a noteworthy exploration of the life of Jesus on the cinematic canvas. Niklos Rasa, the acclaimed composer, initially hesitated to score the film King of Kings in 1961. This reluctance was notable considering Rasa had previously crafted the award-winning score for a similar biblical epic, Ben-Hur, just a few years prior in 1959. Despite his initial reservations, Rasa ultimately took on the task, contributing to the film's musical landscape. Ross's involvement adds an interesting layer to the behind-the-scenes dynamics of King of Kings. The film, exploring the life of Jesus, relied not only on visual storytelling but also on a musical backdrop that echoed the grandeur of biblical narratives. The fact that Ross had already left his mark on the genre with Ben-Hur suggests the significance of his contribution to the cinematic portrayal of religious epics during that era. The connection between Ross's initial reluctance and his prior success with a similar genre provides a lens through which we can appreciate the intricate decision-making involved in the creation of King of Kings. The film's score, an integral component, reflects the meticulous considerations made by the filmmakers to ensure a powerful and resonant cinematic experience. As we delve into the details of Ross's involvement, it becomes clear that each decision, whether by the director, cast, or composer, played a crucial role in shaping the final product. The interplay between personal reservations and professional commitment adds depth to the narrative surrounding the making of King of Kings, highlighting the challenges and triumphs that contributed to its place in the pantheon of biblical epics. In exploring Ross's journey with the film, we gain insight into the complexities of bringing religious stories to life on the big screen. The creative choices made, even those initially met with hesitation, collectively contribute to the enduring legacy of King of Kings. As we bid adieu to our journey through the timeless masterpiece, King of Kings, let the echoes of this cinematic marvel linger in the corridors of your thoughts. Like a mosaic of emotions, this film paints the tapestry of a pivotal era, inviting you to traverse the sands of time and witness the profound story unfold. Now, dear friend, it's your turn to take center stage. What chords did this classic strike within you? Was it the evocative portrayal of historical events, the poignant character arcs, or the cinematic spectacle that left an indelible mark on your soul? In the quiet recesses of your mind, summon forth your cherished memories and reflections on King of Kings. In this digital amphitheater, your voice becomes the protagonist. Share your insights, your anecdotes, and the resonance this cinematic gem has in your life. Let the collective consciousness of film enthusiasts intertwine, creating a mosaic of perspectives as varied as the hues in a sunset. As we embark on this collective exploration, remember that each perspective is a brushstroke, contributing to the grand masterpiece of communal experience. So, drop your thoughts like pebbles into the pool of conversation, creating ripples that touch the shores of shared understanding. Thank you for sharing this cinematic pilgrimage with us. Your presence enriches the narrative, making it a vibrant tapestry of shared stories and individual reflections. Until we meet again in the realm of cinema, thank you for your time, your thoughts, and your passion. Wishing you a cinematic journey filled with endless discoveries and poignant reflections.